Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. One, two, one, two, two. You now rocking with the No Vultures podcast. You got me, myself, Lord Rap. You got OG Clee going away on a vacation. Free OG Clee. Get back, Clee. Get back. You got Corn the Barber in this motherfucker. What it do? And today we got a very, very, very special guest. Now, this guy, you may have known him from many movements. I think he may be on like his third career. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And third music career. This dude is multifaceted. Whether you know him from, uh, you know, songs like Right Here, uh, Mm. Hands up, uh, you know what I'm saying. Whether you know him from being with the, whether you know him from the, uh, I wish I could do the sound from the from the from Grand National, the Wolf. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Wolf, yeah. the Wolf, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you know him from the Fly Nigga Movement, you know what I'm saying with Willie Joe and Tracks a Million, them Neo the Gift, all them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you know. If you a fan from back then, then you really know this dude really been that nigga for a long time, man. We got Earth the Jerk, Kevin Allen in this motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earth, what, what it do, bro? What's happening? What's happening? Thanks for pulling up on us, man. man thank y'all for having me, man. Man, sure. we, we, we had to have this happen, man. This shit had to happen. It was inevitable, you feel me? Really? Like, so uh, I, I'm going to start off with the No Vultures disclaimer, right? We started a podcast because we seen the void and... And like, you know, as cliche as it sounds, we seen the void in the real shit, like telling stories. You know, um, of course we just reached out home first because we feel like this is untapped territory. Like we never tell our stories. I don't even know if that's some gangster shit, like, but the Bay Area people never tell their stories because it always seemed like it's a beef involved or it's gonna turn into something else. Nobody don't like to take the story how it went. It's always like, no, nah, nigga, that ain't you know what I'm saying? So whatever you say, you're going to get a thousand phone calls about. You know what I'm saying? Like Or they're they going to hear the beef story, the funk and all that, but they don't hear the genuine, just really, where this man come from real, story. Yeah, yeah. yeah, from the, yeah, from from the, the mouth. From the root so, to the So we, we seen that with other podcasts. They was covering it. Like, even if you say something like a Drink Champs interviews everybody, which we do also, who we can get, right? But it's always from their perspective. We don't never hear from our perspective, you know what I'm saying? So that was our that was our uh, goal to put our two cents in in this hip hop thing, man, and be yeah. genuine. You know what I'm saying? That's fuck. So That's from here, man. So how you been, man? I've been good. I've been good. Like um, trying to balance out like when you're not good, okay, and how to like keep yourself afloat. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah, I've been I've been living I've been living life. Getting through this uh, COVID nineteen. Getting through this pandemic, huh? Yeah, not nah, really though. That's that, that's a fool. Yeah, the pandemic man, was a man. fool, bro. The fool, like fool. Fool. fool, yeah. The pandemic. What you learned different in the pandemic after you kind of peeped it than before all this shit <clears throat> even happened, like right? man. More so, family structure, more what? Not like right before we went under. Um, my mentor said, "Don't go in the house. Everybody about to be scared." Don't be scared. Like, make sure you go outside and fuck around and play and practice shit. Oh, you saying when shit. everybody was, like, tucked in? Don't you do that. It. Like, you do seen it before it happened. Do the opposite. Mm. So then we, you know, the Grand National shit start turning up, and then we just, while everybody was asleep, everybody was scared. We was mm. outside. So that's where the wolf shit come from. Like, just mm. going, uh, going to fuck around. That's dope. That is that's dope. dope. So, so, um... We like to start from the beginning, right? So, from Richmond, California. <clears throat> By way of East Oakland, California. By way of East Oakland, okay. California. So, born in East Oakland mm -hmm. and raised in Richmond. Both. My mom um, was out here. My dad was out there. Oh, okay. So, so you got like it. boys in the hood, like, yeah. I was yeah. trained for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, all right, it's time to go ahead and tell daddy. Yes, uh, okay. But, yeah. That makes sense, though, you know man, because you got, you got <laughs> a lot of the, all the qualities, you know what I'm saying, that... You know that a real motherfucker from oh, because I feel like it's a it's certain parts of the bay like the bay has grown, right? At one point in time, we looked at a lot of that shit is out the way. If your shit wasn't yeah. by no water, it's kind of yeah. like uh, yeah. 
Uh, y'all pushing it out there. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you know what I'm right saying? Now, because you know, this shit was all 415. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, how how could you be, you know, the 510 came after a while. But as the shit started growing, I started understanding regional. It's like telling a nigga from Buffalo they ain't from New York. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they from New York. You know what I'm saying? Just a different part. So that's how I look at it. Yeah. So, it's uh, too close, really. It's too close. It's too oh, close, yeah. No, so what was the, like, uh, the soundtrack to your life, like growing up, what did you used to listen to, man? I think I heard you before Jeez. say you like it was like the Al Green type shit. And like, is it like everybody household, mama cleaning up, playing that shit? Yeah. Are they playing dominoes, telling you get out grown yeah, folks, yeah. right? Yeah, but I think that's more uh, why I resonate with Richmond so much because that's what my dad was with that shit. Okay. My mom was out here and it was like the current shit, you know what I mean? It mm-hmm. might have been Bobby Brown, some shit. It might have mm-hmm. been. Um, Baby face or that type of shit, but mm-hmm. pops was more like on everything. It was Anita, it was Sade, it was mm-hmm. okay. um, Maze, it was all that. Then he was like spinners and stylistics and dramatics and kind of just the whole plethora of old school shit. But yeah, the rap shit started, and then it was like the beginning, the beginning stages. Like what you age? Know, what age you think you start really noticing? Rap music, like for at first, then. like LL Cool J type shit, like the okay. first. Shit was like this Def Jam, this LL, this like the beginning of like when the shit was hitting. Was yeah, hitting. like right at the beginning, I was a kid. This was the only thing I was listening to. Now, when you say, which is like I don't like to couple you with, with rappers, right? But I do look at shit a certain way, and how I see you when you say shit like nerds eye view, right? It's almost like I'm living vicariously through you and any nigga that grew up in the 80s and 90s could relate, right? So we talking about Sega Genesis and yeah. playing Shinobi and Super Nintendo mm-hmm. and freaking mm-hmm. out over the skinny skateboards and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's what created the culture now. Like when yeah. I look at everything, even something as aesthetically as like your hat, it looks like a script hat from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? A starter script. So it's right. like... When you say like shit like nerds I view, that's how I look at it. Like I look at you like a nigga that just really come from that era and mm-hmm. just kept it aesthetically like that throughout the whole thing. It, it, is that's that it. right? I mean, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah. Like you probably could do this without me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, know, you know shit that yeah. niggas just don't be knowing. Yeah. What's going on with this nigga? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for real. No, because, you know, like, I really I, I really appreciate that shit because, I mean, that's me. I, I come from the culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, everything I paid attention to, like, I was the nigga front to back with the word up. Like, I'm going to yeah. read the ads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I probably saw studios for rent in New York in the yeah. back of the... I'm just freaking out over shit like that. Like, I could have told yeah. you where to get the gold teeth before yeah. niggas had yeah. pullouts. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, in so... In the back of the source. Yeah, in the back of the source. So, uh, so growing up like that, like, did you... Was you into sports at all? Yeah, I fucked the hoop. I mean, I'm just an a athletic kid. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Going, playing football in the street, skateboarding, riding bikes. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, I didn't do no organized sports like that. that oh, okay. Wasn't really it. Like I, I was in the art. I drew, and just being a kid. Like you, you want to know, know something that I'm about to ask you. This is something that I've been noticing. And rest in peace to Virgil. This just had. Um, he just happened rest to have passed. Peace, Virgil, man. Did you no, did you used peace. to draw Jordans? No. You didn't draw Jordans? I didn't draw shit like that. Because a lot of niggas drew shoes. Like, I remember the nigga. I just couldn't draw, so I didn't want to embarrass myself. Like, I probably (laughs) could have drew a Magic Johnson weapon or something. That motherfucker had no details. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? What direction was your art in? I did like uh, portraits, like people's faces. And oh shit! I could okay. draw with, like what I saw, like you know what I mean. I could draw like this or something like that. Okay. I couldn't draw like a character out of my brain, like who I want this nigga to be, Spider Man. Right. Yeah, 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 right. You, you can't that. do that. Okay. But if I, I looked at this, I could draw this cup, bro. You know what I mean? Okay. Where, where, so did you did did where, did you just go to regular public school? Yeah, I went to uh, um, Burbank down the street. Oh, you went to Burbank. Burbank. I went to Burbank. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, at some point. What's that, East Dublin? Yeah. Oh, no, 68. The, dunk, okay. the dunk courts, man. Yeah, oh, okay. Dunk courts. Is yeah, that right? you gotta know, man. Yeah. yeah. That's where you get your first dunks yeah, off. For sure. For you know what I'm sure. saying? For sure. You're gonna either go to. You, your first dunk? For, sure, for sure. At Burbank, Sherman, right. or Maxwell, you're gonna, you're, get, you're gonna get your dunks yeah, off right there. The little courts and then um, the regular size ones. That's crazy. So, um, so when you was when you was growing up, growing up like, 
did, was you the type of kid that like you know everybody was like that's my car but did you pay attention to the details like was you just one of those like nah his chain different or yeah. you know he wears pants like this Do I you think hindsight tells me everything looked like a movie but that's how we talk so it's kind of like right yeah, kinda right bias but nah that shit really was like a movie like mm-hmm. I could kind of see shit and be like, man, this feel crazy right now. Yeah, like, yeah. This, ain't no, this ain't no passing moment. Like, I remember this shit. Right, right. Like, that was a, a crazy feeling. But cars and shit like that, yeah, like. I, and, and, and and as far as, like, you know, it was in, in that era, you know, nobody that I really knew parents was rich that lived where we lived, right? So being a, a – um, 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 no, there was no upper class. You know what I'm saying? It was just yeah. blue collar families. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. or people that was doing all the way back that lived in fucked up situations. Mm-hmm. And knowing that, what part of East Oakland was it that you grew up? 68. 64, the six, 68. right there. Yeah, the whole then, area. Um, came back like uh, maybe after sixth grade, seventh grade, moved back to seventy third. Okay, so it was that little area. Yeah. So uh, like, how did you did you did you avoid doing the street shit? Or just like selling coke or what? How did you? Selling a little weed. Getting a little. I don't know if we can say this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point. I'm like, hey, 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 we let Hove get away with talking about 560 State Street. And we praise that. Right? Mm-hmm. And and let I cut this part out. If you're gonna sell some coke tomorrow, then we don't gotta, we ain't even gotta <laughs> talk about done, it. I'm just All assuming right, you're done. <laughs> <Been done. laughs> you're assuming it's past ten stories. This nigga don't look great. This nigga don't look like he's done. <laughs> So y'all yeah. niggas got me on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Is this camera on me? <laughs> Use your common sense. <laughs> Man. God damn. All right, let's just yeah. say like. When I when I a lot of shit happened. It's when you make based a on a true story. It's based on you a true story. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to transition, right. yeah. living out here, it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? Rent going up, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. So you start figuring shit out, and then niggas that, you know, want to do their thing with the music usually come from the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's hard to kind of out here, at least for me in my experience, it's hard to not be around certain shit when niggas want to get into the music game. Right. And y'all are friends or y'all grew up together, or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Or a nigga might want to wash his money, whatever, whatever niggas is doing. Yeah. You feel me? So. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's funny you say that because one interview you had a translator. And right now, if I was him, I'd say, you know, nigga dabbled, did my thing, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, nigga put, he was spending a little dope money on the studio, and then nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a nigga was trying to do something. to a section where you, that's what you yeah, just translate. On the bottom corner, on the bottom corner, while the interview plan to be the translation of it, you in the corner, like, yeah, just put the that. That's what he really meant, yeah. So, so in the process of that, like, had you, like dabbled any with music because like did you know you ever wanted to do music because we all got the moments like when you got to walk home that you rap to yourself anybody in the world they can lie and say they don't You're playing a beat everybody up freestyle chest. when they got to go when they got to walk beatbox I'm, that's I'm, how you get the that's how you pass the time i was memorizing other niggas raps already okay in the sure. fourth fifth grade who okay. was them niggas for you like crisscross mm. was probably the biggest okay. thing in the world at, mm. at that age and then it was like got to the ice cubes and then started getting into like house of pain and then i started getting into like rap shit like that like okay then it was snoop and then then it was okay. big then it was pop mm-hmm. all of this shit just started like oh like wait a minute it's hell i, I want to go back to 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 <clears throat> crisscross right because nobody ever talk about this do you remember the youngsters Mm, was it a group of niggas? They wore, like they wore, yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, they had yeah, ball yeah. heads and they wore car hearts. Yeah, and shit. yeah, it was hard. Yeah. They were like some gangster. They shit They beat yeah. crisscross up in their video like a fake crisscross. It was too yeah. gangster. Like now that I think about it, like these was, it was very young, young men. Young. It was like being evil, very crisscross. violent. It was like it was the, the same yeah. evil crisscross. Uh-huh. They had on the like fucking Walmart New York uh, <laughs> army type. Yeah, them niggas was fits. 
and they was doing all this shit. Niggas had on scullies and, and, and shit. It was Is like Onyx. Right? It was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, Is that crazy. right? Yeah, niggas was crazy. So they had like <laughs> one little, one or two videos or something. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would not ask anybody else that, but I, I think yeah, you're a rap nah, nerd. It like, just you know, came back to me right yeah. now. When you said that. <laughs> Probably ain't heard of them. Yeah. 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 So. In 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 the, in the process of you going through your hip hop, like you know, because we had double a, cross, double cross, <laughs> <laughs> double cross, and shit. evil crisscross, evil crisscross. 